zero. India and Russia are in an epic race in space. We are counting down to an exciting lunar showdown. The big question is India or Russia? Who will be the first to leave its mark on the moon's south pole? India's historic Chandrayaan-3 mission has entered moon's orbit with a touchdown at the lunar south pole scheduled for later this month. But Russia isn't far behind. Moscow is preparing to launch its first moon landing spacecraft in 50 years and with a faster five-day journey to the moon. It will also win moon's orbit by the time India's Chandrayaan-3 is preparing its descent. The stage is set for a thrilling race to be the first. Russia's Luna 25 will blast off on August 11, following a delay of nearly two years from the original October 2021 launch date, attributed in part of the Ukraine conflict. While India's Chandrayaan-3 lunar lander has a scheduled lunar landing on August 23rd, Russia's Luna 25 could reach the moon's orbit sometime between August 17 to 18 and spend the next five to seven days adjusting its orbit for landing. It could come down to a handful of days and hours between the landing of India's Chandrayaan-3 and the Russian Luna 25 mission. Despite the proximity in timing, Roscosmos assures that the two missions will not impede each other, citing distinct landing zones. Russia's Luna 25 lunar lander is first since 1976, will launch from the Vostoshny Cosmodrome, 5,550 km east of Moscow. Chandrayaan-3 has been designed to run experiments for two weeks, while Luna 25 will work on the moon for a year. After India and Russia, Japan's SLIM is slated for launch on 26 August. For the first time, spacecraft from three or more different nations could be crawling on the lunar surface at the same time. Why is the moon's south pole so special? Few craters in this region have been untouched by sunlight for billions of years, preserving the undisturbed record for the solar system's origin. The moon's south polar region is believed to house a reserve of almost 100 million tons of water. This region's elemental and positional advantages makes it an ideal way station for forthcoming human expeditions. What do you believe? Can India beat Russia to become the first nation to reach the moon's south pole?